everybody. So I haven't filmed a video in a while, but thought I would film a little get ready with me today. Um, first of all, it's September 1st, so in my mind it's now fall. And I have this newish palette from Urban Decay. It's their aphrodis aphrodisiac. Did I say that right? Aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac. Whatever. Palette. It looks like this. Um, I love their little palettes like this. Like the Naked Basics and then the Petite Heat. Um, and I really didn't need this, but I like some of these like shimmery, rosy, purpley colors. Because I love that kind of stuff. There's a couple good mattes. I, I don't know why I bought it, to be honest. But I'm going to be using that. So I do have like self-tanner on my body right now. Loving tan, like 4-hour express or whatever. So I put it on. Mm. What time is it? It's like five, 5 something. It's probably been almost 4 hours, but I'm going to do my eye makeup, then rinse it off. I'm still waiting for my hair to dry, so I didn't want to blow dry, I'm letting it air dry, and then I'll do like my face and my hair. So I'm going to start with, you already know it, Urban Decay Primer Potion on my eyelids. Oh, actually, I want to curl my eyelashes, but we'll wait a second on that, okay. I'm going to try to put falsies on. <laughs> it's been a while, so we'll see if I can do that successfully. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I like to do this before I do my eyeshadow and my face makeup because I feel like just this thing just like bumps into everything and messes it up. So, yeah. Give them a curl. My natural eyelashes are very straight. Um, honestly, I usually don't curl them. But since I'm going to wear falsies, they're pretty curled, and if mine are like sticking out straight down, like, it looks less natural. Not that falsies look natural, but you know, less good, I guess. I'm going to take some of my L'Oreal Voluminous Smolder and Eyeliner in black. I've been using this for years. Honestly, I think I've had this one for years, because it's huge, and it like never, I don't think I'm ever going to use it up. This actually might be my second one, but I don't know. Anyway, I like it for my waterline and my tight line because it's so big you don't have to like pull on your eye at all. Um, honestly, it doesn't stay super well, but I don't think anything really stays really well on your waterline. Unless you like put black eyeshadow on top of it, which I'm like not a huge fan of. And honestly, I find that it travels into like my tear ducts a little bit, you know. Anytime I put something in my waterline, so. I'm doing this now so that before I leave... It will have traveled and I can use a Q-tip and get it out before I go anywhere. <laughs> Hashtag beauty tips with Susie. Okay, so eyeshadows. I'm going to start with my MAC 224 and the shade Sheets, which is um, a light beigey shade. I'm just going to smack that all over. There's honestly probably eyeshadow on this brush, but so I feel like this is not <laughs> this color. But whatever, we'll, we're going for it. Now I'm going to switch to a smaller blending brush from Kylie Cosmetics. I've talked about this like every video. I don't know if these are available. It was like a holiday collection of brushes. I like the two blending brushes I got from the set. Um, they're very soft. I don't know if they're still available. Um, but yeah, I just love this as a blending brush for my crease. I'm going to take this second shade. It's called Beyond on that brush. Again, this brush has stuff on it already. It might even be the shade. I'm not really sure. I feel like there's something in my eye. Okay, I'm just going to focus it right, right in the socket. If you're hearing noises, it's because my window is open and it's right there. So, some nature music for us today. I'll zoom you in a little bit. Don't look at my skin. Oops. What do we want to do next? Actually, I'll take that other blending brush from Kylie and just, I say from Kylie, like she gifted it to me. <laughs> Blend it out. I'm going to take the darkest shade, the, it's like a plummy, like a matte plummy shade called Whiplash. And I'm going to use my little double-sided brushes, the ones that come with that Anastasia palette. And I'm going to take the little side and just begin to kind of like pack it in the outer 
Whoa. <laughs> oh God, Susie, chill. Okay, flip to the other side, blend it out. I'm gonna take a little bit on the fluffier side, just like right on the end of the bristles and just push it into my outer eye area. This is my go-to thing, my go-to eye look. Um, I do like a lighter shade in the crease, kind of all like really messily, then a little bit darker shade, concentrated, both matte, and then I take a matte, another, a darker matte shade in the outer V area, and then I like to do a lighter shimmer and then a darker shimmer. Highlight, usually put the medium and the darker or just two of like the, the MAC shades and the lower lash line, there you go. You can do it with any palette, literally. You just gotta take your time and blend. And it'll look good, I swear to God. Go back to the second brush I used. Now we'll do, we'll do Night Fever on the kind of like the inner part of my lid and then whatever this one's called. Glare on the outer part. I'm gonna start with the outer part. What brush do I want to use? And should I wet it? I'm going to use more of a flat, this is like a concealer brush from Laura Mercier. Whatever. I'm going to spray the brush a little even though I have like no setting spray. So we'll start with the darker shimmery brown basically right over where I put that outer crease color. I hope this doesn't fall out over my face. I'm like, I have no brushes, but really I have too many, but I just can't find one that I want to use. Mm. I want a flat, I want a flat but fluffy brush. I'm just gonna use a small one from Morphe and take the other shade. Again, I feel like I need a Spray this brush. I don't want to want to, but. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. I am going to take a little liquid liner on my upper lash line only because I just want to like make my, I put lashes on, I want the band to blend in. So I'm using this Kat Von D tattoo liner. I used two primers already um, off camera. I did my Becca First Light Priming Filter, which mine is almost gone, um, but I do this kind of more on like the outer perimeter of my face, I guess. And then I have been really liking this. This is the, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Protective Primer. For foundation, um, I've really been liking my NARS Sheer Glow. I, I think it's almost gone, actually. Um, mine's in Light 2 Mont Blanc. Um, I think I'm gonna repurchase it, actually. Um, but since I put Self Tanner on, um, and since this is running low, I'm going to add some of my Dior Forever Undercover in the shade of 14, just because it is a little bit darker. Take my damp beauty blender to blend it out. I'm going to take a little bit of my Anastasia foundation stick in shadow to contour. I have not been contouring a lot recently because, well, I've been like working out a lot, like on my jawline, but like also kind of where I contour and I was like, well, maybe something that I'm using, I'm using a um, sculpting brush from Real Techniques. Um, for like contour is breaking out, so I kind of stopped. Honestly, it's not bad right now, so I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. For under eye concealer, I'm going to take 
my Maybelline Instant Age, Rewi Re Instant Age Rewind Brightener. And then, um, I don't know what concealer to use. I'm going to use a little bit of this YSL concealer, just because it's a little dark usually, but since I have, ooh, I don't know, <laughs> since I have self tanner, it might be okay. I don't want to use something really bright, because it'll look weird. Now I'll take a little bit of... Princess and powder from Kat Von D to set. Some areas. I've also been really liking this powder. It's from Sephora, like Sephora's brand. Um, I never tried anything else from them. And it's their Micro Smooth baked face compact mine is in light 15 i think there's a lighter one which i should probably get because this one is like too dark for me but it does have really nice coverage and like a nice finish i think so especially like around here where i need a little more coverage i like it especially like when i'm in a hurry and i don't have time to like do like a nice job of my foundation and slap this on over top. <laughs> Makes everything look nice and smoothed out. For blush, okay, let me just say, this is like my favorite blush ever. Um, it's from NARS, it's called Free Soul. It looks like this. It's like a frosty bubblegum pink. I don't know, I love it. I think it looks really awesome and it has like a highlighting effect. So again, when I'm in a hurry, I throw this on and then I don't even need highlighter. But we're still going to highlight today, don't worry. I think it's limited edition. I don't know if I'm matching my body right now. I feel like a little bronzer won't hurt. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Rosewood. That's so funny. I'm like watching Pretty Little Liars on Netflix. I used to watch it years ago. I watched like a couple seasons and I stopped. And the other day I was like in a fall mood and it seemed like a fall show to me. Like... I feel like it used to be on in the fall and like it's always seems fall like where they live and like how they dress. Anyway, that's rosewood. That's <laughs> funny. I'll do a uh, little duo fiber brush for this. This is very pigmented and a little too dark for me, so <sighs> let's see. Spray myself real quick with what I have of this. Oh god. There's some in there, but are you serious? <sighs> okay, I have a backup. I have this. It's like an SPF 50 setting spray from Super Goop. It's like sunscreen company. Or kind of skincare sunscreen or whatever. I don't know if it works as a setting spray. I use it more as sunscreen, but I um just wanted to get that like powdery look gone, if you know what I mean. So I'm using my brow definer in dark brown from Anastasia for my brows. Now I'll do my lower lash line real quick, so I'll take, actually I'm just going to take the Beyond shade I used in my crease with the Kylie brush and I'm just going to buff it my lower. Looks like I already did my lower lash line because that like, I feel like the eyeliner like smudged down and like, it's making it look like, me look like I have stuff going on there already, but I don't. I'm going to take the purple shade. So it's right here. It's like a 
shimmery purple called Addict. I usually don't put like shimmery colors on my lower lash line, but I want the purpley vibe, so. And we didn't use its color yet. I take the highlight shade ooh, called Inhale from the TT palette. Let me do a little highlighter, um, Becca Opal. I'm gonna slap on some mascara. Things have taken a turn for the worse. Um, in my attempt to put my eyelashes on, I don't know if it's these eyelashes, and I've worn them before. Um, they're by, it's like House of Lashes, Sephora Collection, oh, Yvette. Um, I put this one on at least four times. And this one twice, and like they're not sticky. I don't know if my glue is old. I don't know. I almost want to take them off. See, it's like popping off like glue. I do. Oh, there's so much glue all over the, my eyelashes. They're like kind of on, so. I might try a different pair, but I gotta do my hair first. So I'm just gonna do my hair how I like always do it. Um, so I start from the bottom, I do about four sections going up I guess um, I already put like a heat protectant in and then I use a hot tools I think this is one and a quarter inches um, and I just I literally just I try to leave like a little bit of the end out because I feel like that makes it look a little bit more natural but like if I leave too much out then it looks kind of like the ends look like weird sometimes so honestly the bottom layer I don't even like give a shit about because Okay, so yeah. I'm not gonna change the lashes because they're on. It's just like this one's uncomfortable and it feels like it's like pulling weird, but I don't know if I trust that they'll stay on and this one looks a little weird, but I don't want to redo them again. So yeah, I've done like three, the bottom three layers of my hair. Now I want to do the last one. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's what I always do. For my lips, I'm gonna use Kat Von D lip liner in Hawk, Hawk Wind. I never noticed there was a W in that until now. Two Ws, I'm sorry, the second one. Oh God. Probably didn't even need lip liner, oh my God. I'm gonna use Lovecraft by Kat Von D.